So in this specific scenario, we're going to have to reverse the polarity on the connector. As you can see, this is the original battery on the right compared to our battery on the left. The wire positions are different. So we're going to have to change or swap out the black and red wire on our new battery connector. So we're going to have to make sure the polarity is correct. Very simple process, not hard, no special tools. Um, you're going to have to uh, pull up on these plastic little tab pieces in there and then you can remove the wires from the connector piece. So in this case I am going to use a small pointy tool here. It's plastic and you insert it under those tabs and pry them upwards. So here is my tool and you want to insert it underneath those tabs and then pry upward just a little bit and then once those tabs are pulled up you should be able to remove the wire these tabs are the locking mechanisms that lock the wire in the connector as you can see there's a small connector piece at the end of the wires you most certainly don't want to ruin that because you're going to need those at the end uh, so pull up that tab just like this and in this demonstration I'm removing the connector completely not necessary really for this case, but I'm doing it anyway as a demonstration. So you just continue to work at it and pull up each individual tab and then the wires will slide out fairly simply. If they do not come out easily, then you may have to pull up the tab a little more to get it loose. Do not touch the black and red wires. Make sure that the wires do not touch after you remove them from the connector piece. So you want to make sure they're separated and set that aside. Very important, do not let them touch. So here is the original connector piece on the original battery. And here we're going to reposition it. So all the way to the right was the black wire. So we're going to insert that in there. Then in the middle will be the white wire. And then all the way to the left will be the red wire. Once all wires are in the connector all the way, you would want to clamp down on these tabs and lock the wires in place. So here I have a small type of tweezer tool that you can use and uh, you just want to apply pressure and on those tabs and lock those wires in place. Give the connector also a, a gentle tug to make sure nothing comes loose, just to make sure it's in there. So here the black wire came out a little bit. I put it back in, pushed on the tab, and now it's in there tightly. So give it a little tug, make sure it's secure. Then you can plug it back in. So now you can plug the connector back into the control power board here. You want to make sure that those plastic tabs are facing upwards. So make sure it's plugged in all the way. You can see that's plugged in there. And once it is, then you can uh, plug it in, plug the charging cable in to make sure that you're getting power through the unit and that the battery is charging. So here there's an LED indicator showing that power is going through the unit and the battery is plugged in. So everything should be good to go. I'm going to unplug that connector.